Hi everyone, this is Art Diva here today with you. I'm going to be sharing my flip through of Wild Souls by Grisel Salvo. And also I have a little memo book here by her as well. It's just blank pages and you have the illustration here. And I purchased these both off her Etsy shop. And I'll show you the inside. She was nice enough to sign it to me. And as you can see, the pages are just blank pages. This is a cute little booklet. If you're like me, I'm always trying to jot something down. Um, and so this would be perfect for your little handbag or maybe your desk at work or whatever. Okay, let's just jump right into this book here. This is a nice book. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this around. And I'm happy to be sharing with you my flip through. I love this book. I have all her other books as well. I have uh, lovely, Loveliness, Kindness, uh, Gems and Flowers. And I have this one now, which is the hardcover. And I love the hardcover. I found it very easy to apply color. Uh, mainly, I used uh, three different color brands. Co, I know. Um... It didn't blend as well for me, so I probably won't use the Co I Know pencils on my paper again. Um, but I did find that the Arteza and the Prismacolor just lay down like butter. They're, they're like perfect. And also I have um, another brand of pencils that I use, King's Art. You can find them on uh, eBay and Amazon. And those went down well, but for some reason... The Kawhi Nail pencils just didn't blend well as far as, um, I would say, as far as me doing the skin tones. And, and um, I tried to blend some other tones, but I'll show you when I get to that particular picture that I used that pencil on. So, uh, without further ado, let me go ahead and open this and you'll see what I've colored for you as well as blank pages because... I just jumped right into this book when I got it and um, I would have been coloring on and on and on and never put up the flip through. Okay. Here is the first greeting page. She signed this to me as well. And my book is 564 out of 850 copies. And I just colored a little flower there. It just so happens I had no intention of trying to make that match with that. But it kind of looks like it goes with that color of ink that she used. Okay. Here is the list of illustrations. Of the names of each one. There are about 30 in this book. And this is her memo page here to you. And number one is what I colored. Um, let me see if I can pan out a little bit more for you. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, Flamingo. And I hope you like my version of it. Uh, my interpretation of color, I should say. Um, I used, uh, the Ateza uh, pencils which I had never used before because I was just a spray straight Prismacolor and Co I Know girl and lately I found some other colors a brand that I like to use but the Arteza I mean perfect look at the blending on this I don't even know if this camera is picking it up very well for you um, let me see if I can show you the reflection a little bit the stars, I put the stars there myself, and uh, I used the BAM, that's the B-A-M, um, I believe it's called Badass though, but you can look it up, it's BAM uh, stencils, and um, I got those, I, well I got some off of Amazon and some off of eBay, but majority of them I got off of Amazon, I have others, I think that I'm going to be showing you that soon in a uh, art supply haul that I got so let's just move along number two is kitten she's pretty I think I'm gonna do this one next and then his zebra the paper is smooth like butter I wish you could just feel it your hand just 
it just glides on the paper. It didn't glide for my Kawhi no pencils, but it glides. Okay. So that's zebra. And number four, you have the owl. I'm sorry, the eagle owl. And that's pretty. Look at that. All the beautiful artwork in her. Looks like her armor dress, like she's going to fight a battle. Can't wait to get into that. I like owls. My husband likes owls. So I know when I'm coloring that, he's going to comment on the owl. <laughs> Here's number five. This is Panther. Number six is Ducks. She's cool. She's got the little freckles all over her face. I haven't decided. Sometimes I like, I just flip through and I try and decide what picture I want to do next and then I'll just stare at it for a second and immediately I will know whether she's going to be an African American or a Caucasian sister or whatever. Mixed girl, mixed chick. <laughs> you never know with me. I do it all. Here's Red Rover number seven. It's Afghan Hound. That's pretty. Looking forward to doing that one as well. This is Lemur. I hope I'm pronouncing these words right. But look at the artwork. I mean, Griselda can do no wrong. I love all of her illustrations. They're all beautiful. And number 10 is Deer. Number 11 is Butterflies. Number 12 is horse. And knowing me, I'm not going to call this the typical horse color. It'll probably be some type of rainbow looking horse. You know, <laughs> you never know with your girl. But yeah, I may, I could just, you know, that's what art is all about. Your interpretation. I may just go all out and just make this horse pink not your typical brown or black or tan or brown horse uh no i'm gonna go all out i'm <laughs> i'm gonna go all out eventually i will show you the full completed book at some point like i said i'm slow here's chimpanzee my husband really liked this one he liked this one so much he i took a picture with it on my iPhone 11 uh, have the new one the Pro Max and it takes really great pictures and I sent it to him on his phone and uh, he loved the monkey <laughs> I think I did a good job on it I hope you think so as well and number 14 is German Shepherd Number 15 is Lion, which is the cover page. Number 16 is Lamb. Number 17 is the Curl Crested, uh, is it Arikari? I'm not sure <laughs> that, how you pronounce that. I will definitely have to look this up. Usually, I will, because um, I'm always by my phone. I'll Google it on the phone, look it up, because I'm sitting there coloring. I always color in my living room. And uh, I have this awesome uh, rose. I'm not sure if it's rosewood or wood anyway. But it's real solid wood. It's, like, really big. And it sits on my lap. It's like a lap desk. And, uh, like, a lap desk slash easel situation. And, uh, yeah, I sit there and I'll Google whatever this bird is to see what color it is. And then, you know, add my flair to it. Number 18 is Elephant. And number 19 is the Crystal Jellyfish. And I have been stung by one of these. Uh, the pain is real. Uh, yeah, I was about eight nine years old and uh, we were at the beach and that was not fun to get stung by that jellyfish let me tell you 
Number 20 is Peacock. I'm pretty sure the colors are just going to pop off of that when you do all the Peacock colors. Like I know I will be looking up Peacock because, you know, I don't know right, right offhand how all the colors are supposed to flow. And here, 21 is Rabbit. I thought that was really pretty and demure. So, yeah, I'm probably going to color her with some pretty pastel colors. Number 22 is Giraffes. As you can see, I've done here for you. I did a strong yellow background. I could have done a softer one, but I wanted the green to pop off the paper and the giraffes. So it makes you look right at the giraffes because everything else just come forward. And look at the cute little girl. Oh, that is so awesome. I love that illustration. I believe this is Caracol. This is number 23. Definitely going to be looking that up. That is a creepy looking cat to me. I don't even like cats because she scared me to death. But I like the cat. If it's a stuffed animal, go figure. But a real cat? No. I'm afraid of cats. But I'm not afraid to color it. <laughs> Number 24 is Parrot. Now this is the picture that I was saying that I... Uh, use the uh, Koinua pencils. In fact, I used, I didn't use all Koinua, but majority of like my green, my grass that I simulate to be grass here. Um, I did that with, uh, I believe it was Prism Color, and this is Prism Color, and, but her skin tone, skin tone, and then I tried to do a sunset, like the, you know how the sun starts to change color, and I would have liked for it to have blended a little bit more than it did, but uh, I just stopped trying to blend because if you keep going too much, you can ruin the integrity of the paper, and I didn't want to do that, such as with her face. So she looks okay, but it's not my proudest because um, I don't know, for some reason, the co I know just didn't want to blend very well. Oh, well, I don't know. But yeah, that's that. It's still a pretty picture, I think. But uh, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. And then I got the dandelions. Uh, I used the, uh, what is that pencil called? The ink is, um, I want to say POS. I forget what it is. It starts with P, y'all. I'm so sorry. But I, I used the, the paint marker with that. If you really must know, message me and then I'll make sure I give you the correct name of it. And I'll tell you. Uh, number 25 is Emperor Penguins. Number 26 is Leopard. And I like that uh, some of the images don't all have long hair. Even though I love to color long hair, I like to wear it short too. So, yeah. I'm going to do something real cool with that. Number 27 is the cat. This is another of my favorite pictures. I actually say this one is my screensaver on my iPhone. Yeah. And uh, what else you could do is, uh, well, what I do is after I color it and I, I do use my iPhone to take the pictures, I use the free prints and I let them print it on like photo paper. So I'll have all of the uh, pictures that I really like that I color and someday I'm, I'm going to do like a really big collage picture of everything that I color. Don't be stealing my idea, y'all. But look... <laughs> I, I like this one, so hopefully you did too. My my husband, he really liked the calf. He wanted to have him a nice steak. I said, don't talk about my picture like that. You know, he likes to try to be funny. But yeah, I think she came out really nice. Um, to get this effect here, if you're interested in and wondering how I did that, I used the Koi Now, it did work here, but for some reason, not the skin tone. 
But uh, the Kohai Nose, I did use the Tritone. That's where you got three colors all in one pencil. And it comes out, you know, whatever color is going to come out. So that's how I got that effect. And I always like to do makeup. Probably about 90% of my images you that, you know, that I would share. You see that color? It's, she's always fully made up. That's just what I do. Okay, 28 is the long haired cat. Number 29 is the brown bear. And number 30, which is our last image, is the wolf. This is going to be cool to color with three images. And that's the end of the book. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this flip through. If you did, give me a thumbs up and share this video if you like. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button. Bye.